Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. Um, so today's video, quite short, but of course I will have an image to share with you. But it's more about what's happening uh, in the very close future. So number one, uh, next weekend, which is the 15th of October on the Saturday, where it's actually the Friday and Saturday, it's the International Astronomy Show in Warwickshire. And I will be there on the Saturday. I'm actually looking to buy a new scope. So uh, fingers crossed I can uh, get a good deal and find what I want. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be going to that. And I know there's a few people going uh, that I know. So I can't wait to uh, meet up with them and have a good old chat. And uh, if you see me there, please come and say hello. Um, I do love to meet people that support the channel and uh, it's really great to uh, meet new people and, and have a good old chat about Astro and whatever else. So uh, don't be shy, come and say hello and it'll be great to meet you. I recently mentioned that I'm possibly moving house and uh, that seems to be all full steam ahead at the moment. So um, I'm going to need to start dismantling gear soon. So uh, I'm going to be at real loss uh, without my equipment all set up but uh, if we get the move completed and it goes well we're going to be going down two bottle scales so uh, it's just going to be a massive boon for my hobby and I really cannot wait. So another thing that's happening and that's this weekend is I've been invited to a live chat with Telescope Services so this is actually a company in Germany, um, they're online and you can buy equipment from them and I've actually purchased from uh, Telescope Services before, they've got quite a range of equipment. Things have got a little bit more difficult recent times after our uh, Brexit, uh, um, things aren't coming into the country as smoothly as they should, but they are a really good vendor and very helpful. Anyway, they um, have a YouTube channel and they do these live chats and they have really kindly invited me as a special guest to their next one which is on uh, Sunday and at 7.30 UK time, 8.30 European time and well lots of different times around the world. Uh, you'll have to work that out if you want to uh, watch the chat live. Um, I think we're going to be just talking about some of my journey and talking through some of my images and equipment etc so I'm really looking forward to that because one of the biggest things I love about this hobby is meeting new people I really do enjoy it um, I've really made some nice friends and I love getting together with people in imaging and online and uh, it's, it's amazing so I, I really do love it and I want to thank you all for that uh, opportunity and for you all being so welcoming and kind it's, uh, it's, it's, it's lovely. So I don't want to drone on too long uh, but I did do an image recently and I wanted to share it with you and it hasn't come out um, as well as I wanted it to um, I was, I'm still kind of learning so what I decided was with my CT10 Obviously the field of view is very tight and I did a, a mosaic on the Hart Nebula and I did 12 panels. Um, so there's quite a lot of data there. When I say a lot of data, there's actually 54 hours in total on all the 12 panels. Um, and it, I mean, it's come out well, I'm really pleased with it. And um, But it's not perfect and I had some issues with um, different light gradients and different panels and, and that made it quite tricky to edit. One of the biggest problems I have where I live is um, I've got a Bortle 6 Sky, although I, I, I would say it's worse than that. It's definitely got worse since I've lived here over the last five years. It's definitely got brighter, so I reckon it's more like six and a half. But a lot of my neighbours have got LED lights, they've got spotlights, they've got security lights, I've got LED street lights, uh, there's an airport a mile away, I've got a major hospital at the back of my house and they've now put all LED lights into their car parks. Um, so the problem I have is some nights there's a lot of lights on extra that aren't always on and that really does affect my imaging as well. Um, it's a shame but it's just unfortunately one of the things you have to deal with when you live in, well it's now a city 
So South End on Sea got made a city recently. So um, when you live in a city, you're going to get a lot of light pollution. But fingers crossed, be moving and uh, in the next sort of few weeks. And um, I'm going to a place where there aren't even street lights. It's in the really rural location. So I'm really hoping that I'm going to have a really nice sky to play with and uh, it's going to improve my images a lot. So on to the image that I've actually taken and I want to share with you now because I don't want to be droning on for too long. Um, it's the Heart Nebula and I took a 12 panel mosaic of it, as I say 54 hours in total. It's in S, H and O and I used my 2600 mm Pro camera shooting through Antlia 3 nanometer filters on my Orion Optics UK CT10. And um, yeah, I mean, I was getting really nice data, but unfortunately the nights were quite varied. Uh, there was a bit of moon in one night, and then obviously I was getting lots of different uh, light problems. But um, I got all of the data together and put it in Astral Pixel Processor that did a great job putting it all, all in as one big picture. And I was really pleased with the final picture, but then my problems really started. So uh, the TIFF for the file for the final picture was over one gigabyte. Um, and it was something like 14,000 odd by 12,000 odd resolution. It, it was enormous and um, so it's absolutely fine to look at on my screen, but as soon as I try and upload it to anything, so like Facebook or anything else like that, the, the, the file size restriction just literally destroys it. So it's a real shame, and I've had real problems uh, trying to rescale it. So I'm gonna have to think about how big a mosaic I can do, because I think you get to a certain size and you, you can't rescale it without it being too destructive to the image, which is, a real shame. But anyway, I'm going to show you that image now. And if you're at the astronomy show, I hope to uh, see you and say hi. And um, hopefully you'll also join me this Sunday on the live chat and you can watch me drone on a bit longer. So uh, yeah, gluttons for punishment you must be. I will put a link in my description to the live chat that's going to be happening on the 9th, which is this Sunday. Um, again, just to remind you, in the UK it's 7.30pm, uh, so Europe 8.30pm, um, and I'll say it's the 9th on Sunday, I'll put a link in the description, and I hope you'll uh, join that and give that channel some support. Right, uh, time for me to go, thank you ever so much for joining me as always, and uh, I really do appreciate your support, and until next time please take care, and I wish you all clear skies. Oh, and I hope you enjoy the image.